that this is why you infuse your language in your end of the business with expected to there are no plans you know you don't say anything right. you know with uh, with certainty and yet you did you did you did put the crying emoji at the end of like you poured one out for the Earl Thomas well, cowboy well, relationship I really oh I know that but do you think that's what set off Jerry I mean what do you think set him off on this whole subject Ian um you know I I don't know I mean I know he was I know he was on the radio planning to talk about Earl Thomas. Sure. So, I mean, and I knew he knew he was going to be asked about Earl Thomas. I mean, did I did I ruin it by going on early? Uh, maybe. I think that's possible. I don't know that, but I'm just I'm just trying to think what would get him so upset. I mean, I also was surprised when he came after me for my Dak Prescott report, which was clearly true. So, I, I mean, remind I everyone know. what that was um, for. Remind everyone what that was about, Ian. So in November on Game Day Morning, I reported that Dak Prescott was going to get franchise tagged at the end of the year, which honestly to me seemed obvious. I knew what was going on. The talks were nowhere. They weren't going to pick up. He was getting tagged regardless. And Jerry said he has no idea what he's talking about. And it was weird to me because I was like, okay, well, first of all, like I do. Second of all, everyone knows he's getting tagged, so okay. And I mean, for a few of the Cowboys, it's been two and a half days. You haven't made an offer to – you know, the top free agent out there, which means he could sign with anyone at any point before you even make an offer, that is a pretty solid indication that he's not at the forefront of your thinking. So I, I don't I don't know what set him off. Um, he should just call me and we should talk about it, but I, <laughs> I really don't know. Your number is, uh, you can access it, but I guess, you know, I, I, if I had to guess, and, you know, we're, we're, we're walking on that tightrope of, of supposing what uh, Jerry Jones is thinking here on uh, – four different uh, live distributions actually in to you know to put a fine point on it that maybe yeah, i mean rich I, I think i think we should mention before you go on yes um this is my first time on the peacock okay yep have you done anything to um, commemorate this momentous day well i have this uh large stack of post-it notes with a peacock logo on all four sides that i can send to you so you can write post-it notes and remind yourself not to piss jerry jones off and post it on the fridge you know can be that simple if you send that i will put that on the instagram i uh, done absolutely done uh i hope uh the problem is though is i don't want to create a problem with my staff is del tufo gets really pissed that he's not getting these things that's that's, that's um true, right? and i don't uh, this may this may create a rift and he doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> thank you very much appreciate that mike there you go you him off. yeah <laughs> you just <laughs> played him off i'm kidding don't you just I'm sabotage that interview? Off. but uh I forgot what I even asked you after we went on this podcast. Oh, yeah. So I, if I had to, if I had to guess, again, he's the owner and he's the guy who makes the final decisions. So, you know, um, it, it's not as if uh, any coach in the history of the Dallas Cowboys has ever received a player that he wasn't totally sold on because Jerry wanted it and thinks it's best for the team. And also, in the case of Dak, you know, for you to say that in November, he might be sitting there thinking, how does he know I'm not just going to cough up the money sometime in January? He doesn't know my negotiating strategy. If I had to guess, that's probably what he's thinking. He could change the tenor of any conversation about any player about the Dallas Cowboys as he wishes at any time he wishes is essentially what his point might be. Ian. And he's right. He's the owner. I mean, I remember, you know, there was – I was reporting on some player was choosing between two teams, and I knew that he was going to go the other way. So I reported that he was expected to sign with this one team. And I get a call from the GM of the other team, and he says, why would you report that? And I said, well, he's, you know – He's going to choose the other team. And then the response was, well, you don't know what we're going to offer. And I said, I know what you've offered. And he's turned that down. He's going the other way. And then the follow-up was, well, yeah, but we could just increase the offer. And I'm like, well, yes. Technically, anyone can do anything. Technically, Jerry could just write a huge check, pay Earl Thomas $40 million over one year and get it done. Um but that's not expected to happen. No. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> it's not expected to happen. It's it, as opposed to we're, we're, we're no longer crying emoji pouring one out. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.